Last week, Apple World Today gave you a short tour of some of the new features of iOS 11. Today, we're going to be doing a hands-on look at Mac OS High Sierra. Now, the first thing you notice, and it jumps out at you when you log into High Sierra, is this beautiful wallpaper photo. I mean, the past few operating systems have had some nice pictures, but this picture of a fall day in the High Sierra is really impressive. Now let's uh, go ahead and launch Sierra, or excuse me, Safari. Uh, let's see here. We'll fire it up. This is on a rather slow Mac Mini, so uh, things aren't going to happen really quickly. But we'll bring up uh, everybody's favorite Apple site, Apple World Today, and uh, I'm going to show you some new features. One of the probably most interesting things that you can do if you visit a lot of websites on a regular basis, well, you can actually now go in and uh, set up settings for particular websites. So for instance, I'm going to go in here under Safari and I'm going to pull up settings for this website. And you'll notice that I can, for Apple World today, I can say, hey, when you're visiting this site, use Reader when available. Uh, Reader uh, articles are available uh, not on the home page but if you click for instance on this headline to go to a, a detailed view of this uh, post uh, you could actually see it in reader and that would take uh, all of these ads out of the way when you're reading that stuff uh, but there are some other cool things that are there now uh, you can have Safari automatically show pages in, in Reader View when you visit, like I said. You can enable content blockers so you're not hit with pop-up ads, and we don't do that anyway. You can set page zoom. You can decide whether or not you want to autoplay videos uh, or want autoplay videos to actually work, and we don't do that either. And you can set whether a website can automatically access your camera, microphone, and location. Uh, you can do that either there or you can now do it on under preferences under a new thing called websites and uh, like I said you can kind of go through and see all of the possible settings for every website so pretty cool little feature there we'll kill Safari now uh, let's take a look at the good old finder here and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this uh, the first thing I wanted to show you is uh, with iCloud Drive sharing. Now this is just a regular uh, PNG or JPEG image and I had shared it a little while ago. Uh, sharing is quite easy and if I go under share uh, you can tell that there's a thing down here. Normally it'll say add people but since I've already shared this it'll say show people and it shows that I've uh, shared it with Dennis Sellers and Marty Edwards, both uh, from Apple World Today. Dennis has accepted this. Marty has been invited. Uh, he tried getting onto it from iOS 11, or excuse me, iOS 10, and it didn't work. Uh, you can change the share options. Uh, right now it's set up for only people I invite can get to that photo, and uh, only those people I uh, invite can make changes. I can also set it for view only can stop sharing, I can add other people to this list. So it really works a lot like Dropbox. I think that's going to be a heck of a nice feature uh, once it becomes available when uh, High Sierra is out. Okay, uh, I also wanted to show you some uh, features with High Sierra. Now this is a uh, folder that is absolutely jam-packed. I already took some images or some files. I duplicated them. I'm going to go ahead and select all and I'm going to duplicate again. And uh, this is, even though it appears to be slow, this is much faster than this machine normally <laughs> operates uh, under the uh, regular uh, HFS uh, uh, file system. So that was actually much, much faster than uh, we've seen before. So duplicating and doing things like that much, much faster under a APFS. Uh, one of the other things that we can t do to uh, test this out is to go under Get Info and you'll notice immediately it came up and said, hey, there were 121 items. This was the size associated with it. Uh, usually it would take a while for the file system to add up uh, exactly how much space was being uh, used. Uh, let's see, the Photos app. Let's take a look at that. Um, 
some new changes here. Uh, probably the biggest is that this uh, sidebar over here pretty much stays there all the time except when you're actually editing photos. There are some new types of albums, for instance this one called Media Type uh, actually goes in and it uh, sorts everything by their type, videos, selfies, li live photos, etc, etc. I love the fact that they've added Animated, which are actually GIF images. Uh, so any GIFs that you add to your photo library will show up under there. And then you can have your personal albums, which I don't have at this point, but a uh, pretty nice little setup there. Now, uh, the editing tools have also changed. I'm going to try to see if I can find this one photo that I thought was uh, just perfect uh, for showing the editing tools. There it is. And this is, of course, a, a group of Stormtroopers. Well, and I think that's uh, Django Fett there, Boba Fett's kid. So over here, we've got the sidebar. It's going to disappear when I click on Edit. And now you'll notice that we have three different uh, buttons up here that I can click. One is for adjustments, the other for filters, and the other one for cropping or rotating uh, the image. So uh, we'll go back. We're going to take a look at adjust because that's probably where the biggest changes are. Um, the uh, one big difference here was uh, white balance. If you have a neutral gray card, I think you can match it up to that. And you can also uh, play with skin tones to try to get them to look a little bit more realistic. Uh, RGB is another uh, tool. You can go in and change the uh, uh, color balance. But curves are something that are in a lot of uh, more uh, difficult to use apps. You'll notice uh, I just kind of made Django a little bit uh, brighter there. We can play around with some of these things and uh, you know really make the, the image pop a little bit more. Selective color allows you to go in and check a color like this uh, girl's t-shirt over here. And uh, I can actually, for instance, tone down the saturation in that so it doesn't uh, look so apparent. She's not popping in the background. Or I can change the hue of that. Now all of a sudden she's got kind of an orange colored uh, t-shirt there. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, some of the other things, my wife is sending me messages right now, so sorry about that. But there's also a vignetting tool. Um, and you can set some nice vignettes, change the radius of them, and the softness of them as well. Uh, we can also go back and, of course, revert to uh, original. Actually, I think I liked my uh, changes to the uh, photo. <clears throat> um, I was testing something earlier in uh, Spotlight, except it didn't seem to work properly. Uh, but allegedly, one of the things you can do is you can do searches like this, and it will come up with a screen that shows you... Uh, and it didn't work. Anyway, normally it'll come up with uh, flight status. Doesn't seem to be working quite right right now, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to show here, and we did show quite a bit about notes in iOS uh, 11. Uh, one of the things that you can do now is pin and unpin uh, notes so you can put them right at the top of the list automatically they will stay there no matter what you do with your list uh, kind of a neat new feature and last but not least we'll go to mail uh, there's a new feature when you search that's called top hits so let's say I want to look for uh, let's say uh, items from a guy by the name of Larry Schaefer who makes some really good wines and there we are. And sure enough, uh, well, I get one that's really good. It came, actually came today. But this other email absolutely has nothing to do with them. So I'm, I don't think that uh, Top Hits is working uh, exactly right right now. Allegedly, it does get smarter as you do more searches. Uh, so uh, hopefully that'll be fixed by the time everything comes out, hopefully in September with Mac OS High Sierra. Visit Apple World today on the web at appleworld.today and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.